What's up, YouTube? This is Zach, and welcome to the fifth part of the Blender tutorial. We will be doing this very fast because I actually rehearsed what I'm going to do this time. So here are my notes. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to do these very fast because they're really easy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to offset this hammer area to make it look a little more realistic because right now they're like perfectly even. They're really kind of weird looking. So, let's go over here, um, select these vertices, there should be about uh, 8 of them, nope, sorry, 10 of them, and just drag it up about just a little bit. If you look down here, in the bottom part, you can see it moving, so just drag it so there's a little bit of an offset. Deselect those and get out of that, um, save it. Now, we have that crossed off, round off back of done. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're going to round off this area because it's really flat right now. So, click this button down here, select that so you can see everything, and now go into faces. Okay, now once you're in faces, select these, these three right there, and now go into vertices. Now hit shift. K, and that'll bring up the knife tool and hold control. This will mean you cut through the middle and only the middle. So make a line about right here, and then as, when you make your last click, hit enter. And now then it'll look like this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to select these and drag it out on the Y axis a little bit, and then select these two vertices and drag this whole thing out. Then select these three, at 7, 5 on the number pad to go into top orthographic view. Bring this out. And then only bring these two out to about there. And then align these two vertices so they look right. And now we have a much more rounded off gun. And now run round off front of gun. We will do that later. But right for right now, we are going to fix the little slide issue. If you remember right, last couple of times this little area that's darker here and this is supposed to be smooth. This whole face right here is supposed to be smooth. But it's not. You got this little breaking up here. And I finally figured out how to fix that because it's taken me, what, three weeks to figure that out? So, what you want to do is you want to go into face mode and you want to select these faces right here. Just like that. And hit three. And now uncheck this box. And what we're doing is we're aligning this edge and this edge. So, bring that down just like that until the two align. Now go up really quick and hit hold shift and right click this to deselect that one. Then hit whoops not one three and drag this one down until this one also aligns. It doesn't have to be perfect it'll look fine anyways but now we have that all smooth out. To align the viewports hit one or control one to go to the back Make sure the area you want to orbit around is in the front, and then hit 3. Make sure that is in the center too, and now you orbit around that little area. So now we have this. Um, if you look, there's a little bit of offsetting here. So to fix that, go into vertices select mode, right click this, hit N, copy the Z, control C, paste the V. C, control V. That, that was the same so we didn't have to do anything. Copy the Z. Paste the Z. And now we have a perfectly offset thing. Save that. But if you look, if we select the stock and the handle, you'll see that there's this little area here where it overlaps. So let's fix that. Right click on the slide, let's go into edit mode, 
and select these vertices right here and drag those down to about, hold on, gotta look at my actual gun here that I have. Um, I'm gonna drag them to about here. Yeah, this is good. Drag it to there. And you should be good. Now this part looks a little funny, so let's fix that. I noticed that when I was uh, rehearsing. So, right, select this vertice, copy the Z, select this one, paste the Z, and now we fix that. Okay, to fix that, just select all these front vertices and drag them up a little bit until that vanishes. So, I mean, now it's just, we're just relying on looks, we're not relying on precision or anything, so. Yeah, there we go. So now we got all that fixed, we can cross that off, uh, round off front of gun. So we gotta do next. Just select these vertices, bring them down a little bit. Fix slide, already did that. Uh, fix mag area, that's the last step. So select your handle, go into edit mode. And this I was gonna fix last time. You can see here that it's like kind of a triangle, we need that to be square. So hit 7-5, right click this vertice here, copy the Y actually. And now right click that, paste the Y, now right click the first one, copy the X, right click the second one, paste the X. And my phone's in, so. Okay, so I decided to cut out a big part of the tutorial because it wasn't working. Now we can start focusing on something else. Okay, hit M, move this to the second layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make this little, these little slide grooves right here. Uh, this is gonna be really hard, because, and I'm not looking forward to this, because it is gonna be really, really hard. So, make a loop cut there, make a loop cut on the other side here, Make a loop cut here, make a loop cut here. Now if you're doing this for a game, you're not going to want to do this because this is adding a lot of vertices and faces. Okay, so scale on the x-axis. If it doesn't align correctly, oops. And align these two. Scale X and align that. Well, it's just repeating the same step over and over and over and over again. Okay, now we got all that done, I have all these little grooves, so what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to go to face select, this is where it gets difficult, you're going to want to select these two faces, then these two, then these two, then these two, oops, not that one, then these two, then these two, then these two, then these, whoops, not those, 
we need to make one more loop cut. I totally forgot. Here, make one more. Line it. Now we have we can start that again. Okay, so I messed up that first part. This is actually my third time redoing it because I keep messing up. But what you want to do is you want to go into vertices, select mode, hit Z. We're not going to extrude like I originally did. You're going to hit Control R, do these sides, and you're making them skinny because it's going to add a little bit of realism to it when we do this, just having that little slope on the sides. So that's what we're doing. Instead of it being just 90 degree angles, it's going to be more of like a 60 degree angle. Or actually, it'd be more, sorry, it'd be at like a 95 degree angle. I don't know, I'm bad at math, so... I wish Camtasia had a fast forward effect, but in all honesty it doesn't, so... Fortunately, you're just gonna have to bear with me as I go through this painfully slow. And, as I say that, we are now done. So, go back into face mode, select, only select the faces that are going down, not the ones in the loop cut that we just made, no other faces, just these. So, basically you should select one every three faces, and select these, and now we are good when it comes to that. Now if you drag it down to about there, you'll notice that we have screwed up the entire front of the gun. We have rivets down here that aren't supposed to be there, and we have rivets on top that, again, are not supposed to be there. And because they end up, it looks just like a normal map, and we don't want that. So, go into edge select mode, and select these edges right here. It's not that edge, do not select that edge. Select only these edges, hit Control 3 5, Drag them out until those two lines are parallel. And now if we go into object mode, you'll see that we have a perfectly flat gun face. Uh, there's a little bit of distortion, so tweak it however you want to, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to tweak them that much. And then just do the same with this side, because we want our gun to look good. Going back into normal mode. Yep. As you can see, our gun is officially perfect. So that in rounds up this tutorial. I'm gonna bring this back. Um, yeah, I made a couple mess ups, but um, you're not gonna be able to see those, so that's good. And see you next week.